Okay, well, welcome back. I'd started a video earlier, but my computer decided to crash. So, where we're at, we had ran to the bait, uh, Nilfgaardian Garrison and talked to the commander, and he sent us on a quest to track down a herbalist and to track down a hunter so we can learn more about the griffin and kill the griffin. Once we've killed the griffin, he will give us information on where Yennefer was headed. So, that's it, Roach. Let's head out. Oops. Apparently. Go, go. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trails fresh. Mislov just left home. You, Mislov. Hear that? Wolves? No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. <laughs> I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher? That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. <laughs> I'll show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not. No, dogs might. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog. Kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies, but they just won't die. Too late. Attacked another. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Aye, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Ah, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin. Know anything about it? Not much. It's not my kind of game. 
You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Health Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Browns black, saturated with blood. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably. A camp. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least? Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time Bones. dying. Horse, dog, human. A few months worth. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other Griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft. Dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. of power should draw from it.
Go, go. your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. Standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have eyed me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan, for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I sees he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. <laughs> Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. She's a bit crazy. Nothing, nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. You are. Huh. The priceless frying pan. Hm. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have ye? Oh, shut up, you. <clears throat> Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! 
You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny, for the road. Fry up a nice white fish for some. Sign intensity. Sure. Boy in Climax. Good lad, Master Witcher. <laughs> yes. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? <laughs> Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. <laughs> How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? Learn some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word, and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room, and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. What do I need for swallow? Dwarven spirit. Potion. 
And two consumables. Let's take a look at... My grand told me about the Smith boy. Lad Wait a one day, uh, so slow now. Journal. Well, he started twisting and squirming, so what? Hey, yeah. Oh, so it was. Right. some drowner. Whoa! Trouble. Man as well. to do with it. What did the folk do? <laughs> they could have sold his head back on. Take a look at this. Get out of quests. Well, we're here. The Emperor shall guide us to a do not. Bastion later once it's safe. Do that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the black ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afeard he was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. Sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they were feared of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me. Keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion. Fine. I'll help you. Just... Who would have thought? But I want to find his body at least. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield.
up here easily. Look at this place, and I'm gonna have to call it, guys. Ooh, can I not? Can I not? Uh oh, ball sack. Fight in your guts, Eddie. Okay. Well, that's all the time I have. I will talk. see you guys later. <laughs>